Russia's MC-21 is set to become a major player in the aviation industry, but the choice of engine could have taken it in a completely different direction. Now, imagine if things had gone another way. Could the MC-21 have been even more efficient with a different engine? What if the unique Kuznetsov NK-93 prop fan had been chosen to power the skies instead of the modern PD-14 jet engine? Which engine truly fits Russia's ambitious vision for the MC-21? Let's delve into these questions in today's episode. The Kuznetsov NK-93 has a long and complex history. Its development began in the late 1980s, during the Soviet Union's final years. The goal was clear, create an engine that would significantly outperform the West's most efficient engines. The idea was to use a prop fan design, which operates with open rotors similar to propellers, but achieves much higher speeds and fuel savings. The NK-93 underwent several rounds of testing throughout the 1990s and early 2000s. The engine was truly groundbreaking in many ways. Its prop fan design was intended to combine the advantages of both propeller-driven and jet-powered aircraft, making it highly efficient at cruising altitudes. Early tests showed promising results. The engine's ability to operate at high speeds while consuming less fuel than typical jet engines made it one of the most efficient designs at the time. However, despite these promising tests, the project faced significant challenges. Political changes in the 1990s following the collapse of the Soviet Union slowed its progress. Funding became scarce, and the aerospace industry in Russia faced considerable turmoil. The NK-93 was further hindered by its complex design, which required significant modifications to the aircraft in order to integrate the engine properly. In fact, the engine's large open rotors made it difficult to fit into standard airframe designs without extensive structural changes. This made airlines hesitant to invest in the project, as the costs of modifying aircraft outweighed the benefits in many cases. Another issue was the size and weight of the NK-93. While its fuel savings were impressive, the engine itself was relatively heavy and required large nacelles to accommodate the unique prop fan configuration. This added to the overall weight of the aircraft, reducing some of the efficiency gains it offered. Although the NK-93 was shelved in the early 2000s, it remains one of the most intriguing what-ifs in aviation history. Fast forward to the 21st century, and Russia was looking to re-establish its presence in the global aviation market. The country needed a modern, efficient engine to power its new MC-21 airliner, which was designed to compete with Western aircraft like the Boeing 737 MAX and Airbus A320neo. This led to the development of the PD-14, the PD-14 is a high-bypass turbofan engine, meaning it's designed with a focus on efficiency and lower emissions. Developed by UEC Aviadvigatel, the PD-14 is not just a step forward for Russian aviation. It marks a significant return to the global stage in terms of advanced engine technology. Development of the PD-14 began in the early 2010s, with the goal of creating an engine that would meet or exceed international standards. One of the primary aims was to ensure the engine could be used not just in Russia, but in international markets, which meant adhering to strict global regulations. This international compatibility is crucial for the MC-21, which Russia hopes will be sold to airlines worldwide. By 2018, the PD-14 had successfully completed testing, and it received certification from the Russian authorities. A year later, it achieved certification from the European Union Aviation Safety Agency, EASA, opening the door for the engine to be used in European markets as well. One of the PD-14's most important features is its modular design. This allows for easier maintenance and potential upgrades over time, ensuring that the engine can stay competitive in the rapidly evolving aviation industry. Airlines are always looking for engines that are not only efficient, but also easy to maintain, and the PD-14 delivers on both fronts. Russia plans to develop more advanced versions of the engine, including a model with improved efficiency and potentially a larger variant for future aircraft. This kind of forward-thinking design ensures that the PD-14 will remain relevant for years to come. So, how do the NK-93 and the PD-14 compare when we put them side by side? First, we need to consider the efficiency goals behind these two engines. The NK-93, with its unique open rotor design, was engineered to minimize fuel consumption. In tests, it showed that it could potentially use significantly less fuel 
than traditional jet engines of its time. This design made the NK-93 a revolutionary concept, but it came with practical challenges. The engine's open rotors required larger nacelles and a complete redesign of the aircraft's structure, which could increase costs and complexity for airlines. Additionally, the weight and bulk of the engine somewhat negated its efficiency benefits, making it less appealing for commercial use. In contrast, the PD-14 takes a more traditional approach, utilizing modern turbofan technology that is optimized for today's commercial aviation needs. While it may not achieve the extreme levels of efficiency the NK-93 promised, it offers a highly competitive balance between performance and practicality. The PD-14 can be integrated into the MC-21 without significant modifications, and its lighter weight and compact design mean it can deliver solid performance without the drawbacks of added complexity or cost. Now, in terms of overall performance, both engines had their strengths. The NK-93's unique design allowed it to operate efficiently at high speeds, making it an excellent choice for long-haul flights, where fuel savings over long distances would be critical. However, the PD-14's conventional design makes it a better fit for modern airlines, which prioritize a balance of efficiency, reliability, and ease of maintenance. The PD-14's modular design means it can be serviced quickly and efficiently, something that airlines consider crucial when choosing an engine. The final aspect to consider is international appeal. The NK-93, despite its promise, never reached the global market, and its unique design would have required specialized training and support, further complicating its potential rollout. The PD-14, on the other hand, is certified not only in Russia, but also in Europe, giving it the global recognition needed to compete with Western engines in international markets. In the end, the answer to which engine is better for the MC-21 comes down to practicality versus innovation. The NK-93, with its revolutionary design, could have been a game-changer in aviation had it been fully developed. Its efficiency and performance potential were undeniable. However, the challenges of integrating such a complex engine into modern airframes and the associated costs made it a less attractive option for airlines, especially those seeking easy maintenance and quick serviceability. The PD-14, while less groundbreaking, represents a highly practical solution for modern aviation. It's efficient, reliable, and designed with global standards in mind. Its ability to meet the needs of international airlines gives it a significant edge over the NK-93, which remains an interesting what-if in aviation history. The PD-14 is the clear choice for the MC-21, offering the right balance of performance, ease of use, and future-proofing. But what do you think? Do you agree that the PD-14 is the better engine for the MC-21? Or do you think the NK-93 should have been given a chance? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let us know if you agree with our assessment.